I did not follow the instructions. Hello. Um, this is what we're doing today. Um, so this is a 200 quart sterilite bin. The given measurements are 39 and 3 quarters by 21 and a half. But when you measure, like, you know, um, when you measure with the, um, the diagonal that's on the side, it actually comes out to be about 620. Um, so it's definitely over the minimum. Um, this is a beautiful bin that you can make a bin cage out of. That's what I'm going to be doing today to replace Cheerios one. Um, the reason that he has that one in the first place is because that was the biggest bin that my Walmart has had in the past however long I've had them. Like eight, nine months, I think. Um, they finally got this one in. Uh, so as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. I'll play the clip here. Um, I was very excited, <laughs> so I grabbed it, didn't let anyone else take it, and here we are. So I'm just going to be showing you how to turn this into a bin cage for your hamster. You're going to need your tote, um, obviously the lid, which we're going to be cutting. You're going to need something to cut it with, like um, a box cutter, or you can use like a Dremel, I think it's called. Um, which is, would be much easier, but I'm going to try to do it with this. I'm probably going to regret it. Um, and you also need zip ties, which I don't have here with me right now. And chicken wire. Um, I would recommend getting either hardware cloth or chicken wire. Just make sure that the holes are small enough. Um, this is the only one that I was able to get, and the holes are too large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double it over and like line up the chicken wire so that the hole of one like intersects the line of the other if that makes sense so that the holes are smaller. Um, I hope that makes sense. If not you'll see what I mean later. <laughs> um, I'm going to start cutting. So where you're gonna want to cut is right along here and then once we have this midsection cut out we're going to make holes along here to put our um, zip ties through. My watch is falling off. That's what we're going to do. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this open. Oh, I have to unlock it. Ooh. I got it. Do not do this. Don't do this at home. Well, do it at home. Don't do it without a parent or an adult. Unfortunately for me, I am the adult. So, hopefully I don't hurt myself. This doesn't look that sharp. I know it's sharp, but it doesn't look that sharp. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting off. Hopefully I'm not gonna be here for three days. I decided to do it on this side because there's like um, a divot here, which is a little more difficult to get um, from this side because I'd have to go like that. So I'm doing it on this side instead because it's just flatter and easier. This isn't 
gonna take as long as I thought. It's cutting like butter! Okay, maybe not butter, but like... What is it cutting like? Dried out bread. I shouldn't be doing this over my leg. I absolutely should not be. Ooh. Ah. Look, those are my fingers. on my hand so I just have a sock over it. Fast. Nice. Never cut towards yourself. Always cut away. why you don't cut towards yourself. I'm turning so I'm not cutting towards myself. It just came out. Just gonna wiggle it out. Break. Can I put it back in? Push. Quick release. That's why you don't cut towards yourself. It's like a door. Oh. I caught myself cutting towards myself. Well, 
I have no clue what I'm going to do with this. I'll find something to repurpose it as. I'm just going to tidy up the edges a bit. Now it's like a picture frame. This feels so counterintuitive. I got plastic everywhere. Oh no. Oh, I should close your tools when you're not using them. Safe. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this up now and measure how far apart I need the zip tie holes to be and measure if there's any of this that I'm gonna have to cut off because I think it's gonna be pretty perfect. But I'll let you know. I just remembered I have a measuring tape. Okay, so I've gone along and just drawn where the holes need to be, so now I'm going to go in with my knife and make the holes, if I can even get it open. There we go. Okay, so I'm finally done making the holes, I think. I think I'll, like, I think there's enough. Um, I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna see if I can cut this with scissors, actually. I don't think I'll be able to, but I'm going to try. 
Um, and I'm gonna go grab my zip ties, so I'll be back. Okay, so, oh my goodness. I went and found wire cutters. I am, I tried and it does cut with scissors, but it's really hard and they're gonna dull your scissors. So I'd recommend wire cutters, especially cause this one is kind of thin. And I have, what are these called? Zip ties. I have little ones and I also have bigger ones. So I'm going to start cutting this to size and zip tying it as I go. I just stood the, um, the container up so I'd have a little more working room. I almost put it on backwards. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting one end through the hole that I've made. I'm wrapping it around part of the wire. Actually, I don't have it around part of the wire. I'm wrapping it around part of the wire to make sure that it captures it. And then, oh, did I put this in backwards? No, we're good. And then you pull it tight. holes on a whole side, so I'm going to do that now. So I just finished putting all of the zip ties on. I'm going to go ahead and clip all of the little ends off now. And my hands are so sore. I would suggest not doing this in one sitting. My hands are very sore. And now I'm going to go in with my plier cutters, or my wire cutters, I mean, and cut off the excess um, chicken wire here. The reason that I waited to do this is because I didn't want to cut it too small and then, like, have to buy a new piece. Um, 
obviously the guy wouldn't work with something huge but like the difference isn't that big and it's even small on the other side so it was just easier to do it this way for me so i'm going to start cutting update it's easier to do it with the scissors oh i have drawn blood from the chicken wire so sure And there you have it. Here is my lid for my bin cage. Like I said, I used two layers of like larger chicken wire simply because I don't have access to um, the finer stuff. But if you can get something that's like half an inch, qu quarter inch would be a whole lot better. Um, something like that size, um, go with that. But I just have mine doubled over to make the hole smaller. Um, for now until I can replace it. So let's test, let's test out the new lid. Oh, so this is just what it looks like. It, it looks flimsy, but it's, it's, it's on there, like, really on there. Um, now decorating it will be another video. So please subscribe and turn on your notifications or whatever um, so you see that one come out because I'm going to be moving little man from this cage to this cage. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>